Okay, so this is the uh, Honda HRX217. We've just turned it on its side. We've had some uh, gearbox issues with this machine, and I'm just here with the guys at Linfield Mowers going through how we can look after these gearboxes so they don't break down. So we've just turned the mower on its side, and um, there's a couple of options here. You can either access them through the little screw here at the top, and there's another one around the back. Or just run us through, Mike, the, the rest of it. Okay, so over time they will lose fluid. And they're coming out around the axle predominantly? Uh, yeah, around the seal. It's the only place they can come out. Yep. So they periodically will need topping up with fluid. Yep. And we would suspect probably putting it through there. Um, what easiest way would be to do it would be the wheel off, drill an access hole through there, undo that, and then you can just slowly leak fluid in there. Um, so what, how often does this need to be done? It depends on how these seals. If they keep these shafts clean, yep. without any debris building up, those seals should last ages. But especially in Auckland where a lot of lawns having cabbage trees, yep. or flax Flex bushes, yep. they're going to get stuff wrapped around the shaft. Yep. Um, that is always going to be a problem. And that stuff will destroy that seal. We've seen it happen within a week. Yep. We've got guys out there going for well over eight months that have managed to avoid that. And so this really comes down to what you run over and what you don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the big one. So now, so how do you know that it needs refilling? You will slow down. As in the machine. Physically, it's not as it reactive. Travel, yeah, it won't travel anywhere near as fast right. as it used to. Right. Okay. Yeah. So it's really been aware of, of, of your machine and, and what it's doing and how it's operating. Yeah. And so with the speed setting in the same position, the machine just starts to slow down because it hasn't got enough oil in there to actually drive yeah. it. Now, the second problem that we're now starting to notice is over time, these back wheels. Yep. Yeah. This thing being nice and vertical will creep in a little bit like that. It's uh, coming out of out of the back of the van, down the ramps. They get banged and bashed, and they start to just tilt in. Yep. That means the gears, instead of coming in and meshing nice and vertically, they're meshing at an angle. Right. And they're starting to chew the gears. The inside out. of the cogs out. Yeah. So if they're noticing weird noises, periodically take that wheel off inspect that or even just stand behind the machine and look at your wheels and yep. make sure they're nice and vertical so if they're they tilting in at the top they should be 90 degree to the to the ground yeah and if they start getting 85 ish yeah then you're, you're going to be true to your gears out and then the gears are simple replacement they're that easy to replace yep so where are the main issues coming from? The fact that the oil is leaking out and... Yep, uh, and it's drive, it's the oil leaking out is a major one and that's purely down to that stuff wrapping down in the shaft. Yep. And the wheels tilting into that, that's a time thing. Yep. It just gradually happens over time. Yep. It's unavoidable, but keep an eye on it and replace those gears when it starts to happen. Um, the engine oil problem, we just don't know why those ones earlier in the piece, the guys were having problems with keeping oil in their engines. Pull them apart, no leaking seals and stuff like that, so I don't know whether they're just too many hills. If you're mowing hills with these, they will use a bit of oil, and so if you don't top your oil up, eventually they'll run out of oil and you'll destroy the engine. So it's more a machine maintenance thing, just guys not checking the oil levels? If the guys in the morning, before they set out to work, or even when they get to the first job, quick check, look at the blade, check your oil level, boof, okay, I'm all set. Off we go. If the blade or the oil's out, we will on, whip down the motor, off, get that sorted, and then continue for the rest of the day. Because both those are five minute jobs. We can do those for them. That's not a problem. Most most guys can do it themselves. Um, now, with this stuff wrapping around the back here, you want to come with me? I'll just show.